Hey YouTube, Peter Bill Knife Guy. Today I'll be doing something different, something I don't typically do. I am going to be trying to, uh, well I'm not going to be trying to, I'm actually going to be doing it. I want to do an open tag of what's your, let's say three knives. Let's go your folder, a small to medium fixed blade, and a large to extra large fixed blade. Which three would you choose? And I know I'm, I know I'm holding up four fingers. Which three would you choose? <laughs> you know, I can't help it. I'm dyslexic. Uh, but, and I want to do an open tag. And on the open tag, I want to tag four people. And then I want those four people to tag four people. At least four. You can tag more. You can tag less. But let's do four. And uh, let's keep it a nice round, even number. Um... The first person I want to tag is what's the point EDC, put his information here, then the Sog Grunt, Tristan Barnett, whose channel's back, uh, he was in uh, YouTube jail, but now he's back, so that, and Singing Toad. I tag all four of you to do this three knife challenge. It's not even a challenge. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's hard to pick. BS, if you had to leave the house, you know, it doesn't mean it's your best knife. I'm, even the knives I'm picking aren't my best knives, but they're the, the ones I would leave the house with, and I'll kind of explain why. For my, my, my folder, the Ontario Rat 1 in D2. This knife was a knife that I hesitated on buying for a long, long, long time. I'm not a folder guy, but I carry a folder everywhere. Um, and honestly, it's ugly. It's an ugly freaking knife. But the more I've carried it, and I own two now, I have the Aus 8 and the, uh, the D2 version. Um, this has quickly became my favorite EDC fixed blade. I'm mean, sorry, fixed blade, folder knife. Um, minus the fact that it's ugly. This thing is comfortable in hand. It's a proven design. It's been around for a long, long time. And I held off on buying it because, I don't know. I didn't like the hype around it. I'm not one of those big people that, you know, go into hypes and stuff. You know, like, oh, everybody's talking about it. So I kind of shunned it. But this is honestly taking the place of my Benchmades. I don't even carry my Benchmades anymore. I carry this one. So the Rat Model 1 in D2. And they have it in uh, S35VN now, I believe. So maybe that'll be my third one. I don't know. But uh, honestly, this D2's been badass. I really love it. So there's my folder that I would leave the house with if I had to. Now, for the medium, or the small to medium fixed blade, <clears throat> I'm going to say anything because it's a fixed blade from freaking, I don't know, one inch blade to eight inches. And that's what I'm going to do it as. So anywhere from eight inches down is I'm going to call it a small to medium of fixed blade because I like big knives. So even a, even a seven and a half inch knife, you know, it's big, but it's not a big, big knife. So anyways, if anybody watches my channel, you probably think you know what's coming next. But you'll be wrong. It happens to be this guy, the Topps Longhorn Bowie. This has quickly become one of my favorite freaking knives. Um, I know in multiple videos I've done, I've talked about how much I love the Benchmade Arvensis. Um, I think it's Arvensis or Domus. Yeah, no, Arvensis. The Benchmade 119 uh, fixed blade is a badass knife and it is held number one in my books for a long time. But this guy right here, something about it its looks its functionality its comfort its ease of use has just become number one in my book um and i'll tell you what if i have to leave the house with a uh a, a medium does you know small to medium fixed blade this one's definitely it um it, it seems like a much bigger knife than it is but because it's a lot of handle but on blade length we're only looking at seven inches to the uh to the uh the g10 here so anyways folder medium fixed blade <laughs> medium in my book 
Now, for my large knife. This one might shock somebody too. Probably not, but also yes. Um, I'm a huge fan of, for extra large knife, which is, or just a large to extra large, you know, eight inches and up, is my uh, SE, what is it? The SE uh, Jungless. Badass knife. I freaking love it. But I think if I had to choose one, <clears throat> I would probably pick this guy right here. The Sford Fontemski Bowie. Now, the reasons I would choose this over the SE is because number one, look how thick that freaking stock is. That is a freaking, it's a moose. I mean, here's a quarter inch knife. You can tell the difference. It's it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of steel there. Um, SE is great. SE has an excellent warranty, but let's just say you're stuck out in the woods and you break your knife. SE's warranty ain't going to do you no good when you got no cell service and a broken knife, you know? And if you survive the situation, you know, <laughs> yeah, they'll replace your knife because they have a fantastic warranty, but um, it, it ain't going to do you no good. This thing, being a, 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 a spine-tempered knife, you know, it's it's dual-heated. It's like it's like the tops. It's it's a it's a dual heat treat. They the blade down here is harder than the spine. They 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 flame temp or flame uh what do they call it flame back it? I can't remember, but you can tell them they do it around the handle too. So this is more springy, where this is more hard. The reason I choose this one is just because simply I don't think I can break it. Joe X did a uh a video on this thing and he had a hell of a time trying to break it and uh he did it because joe x can break i i i am convinced if you give joe x a freaking uh, uh a ball bearing and a rubber mallet he'll break the bearing for sure um which is awesome i love watching his stuff but yeah so these are my three my folder my eight inches and down fixed blade and my eight inches and up fixed blade if i had to leave the house with only three these are the ones I'd pick. Everybody I tagged, let's see some videos. Tag some more people. Get this going. Thanks for watching.